Right. So are you ready to get started with the paneer? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Right. So for the paneer, um, I have um, put into a pot two liters of fresh milk. Okay. All right. And we brought this uh, to a boil. So two liters of fresh milk in quite a deep saucepan. And as you can see, I've used a heavy base pot because the last thing that you want is to get the milk scalded. And then your paneer is going to smell quite awful. Is that a word? Scalded. Yeah. It is. Oh, you okay. can scald the milk, scald as in burned. Oh, okay. So why don't you just say burnt? The last thing you want to do is burn. The there milk. you go. Now I understood. So we have two liters of fresh milk that we brought to the boil. And uh, we're going to be using some fresh cream. Now this is our very, very special secret to get really creamy paneer. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to add some fresh cream into this. Okay. And then, of course, I've got some yogurt in this container. So all this now goes into... Goes in there. And to sour the milk and the cream and the yogurt, we are going to put some lemon in there. So I'm going to bring wait, this... Wait, wait, hang on. So you're going to now add in some lemon. Do I need to cut this? You're going to cut this, but I'm going to take this to the stove and bring it to the boil. So I've got two liters of fresh milk in here. I've got approximately one liter of fresh cream in here. And I've got 500 ml, that's half an, um, a liter of soured milk or yogurt. And I'm going to bring this to the boil. Right All right, so, so what does it... What cut is that what does the lemon do, do you know? Yes, it's going to sour the milk, it's going to help it to coagulate. As we said, <laughs> that this is cheese. But you ate a dictionary over the weekend. I did. Oh, okay. okay. It can coagulate while it's scalding. Yes. Mm. Okay, how do you want to cut this? In mm -hmm. Squares? Mm -hmm. You're just going to cut it once and you're going to squeeze out oh, the juice. Oh, the juice, okay. There you so go. So how do you uh, squeeze them when they're in squares? Well, uh, you're a square. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> All right. So can All right. you squeeze that in so there? I'm very good at squeezing. You are very good at squeezing. Yeah, it's not I... like you. You're hopeless at squeezing. You know, you can't. I can't bring things. Oh, so whenever you're washing clothes and stuff, and you can't. Oh, it's oh, yeah. ringing. It's ringing. This is squeezing. It's squeezing. Yeah, it's ringing. Like ringing and squeezing. All right. You want all the juice in here, right? I do. With the seeds? Oh, uh, it actually does matter. I'm just going to collect Do you need an hands. entire... Um, I would think so. So you are going to need at least half a cup of lemon juice half in there. I would like fresh lemons um, as opposed to... You know, the, 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 the good thing is that my mother used to have this uh, lemon Squeezer, juice. Squeezer, yeah, a yeah, juicer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. And that used to work brilliantly. Yeah. And so, you know, the idea uh, to get the juice out is actually just give the lemon quite a lovely tap. But I, now you're doing that. Yeah, I'm just giving the viewers a little bit of a tip. Uh, you don't need that. No, right, need so that. let's go. Because they're not as good at squeezing as I am. There you go. <laughs> All right, how's that? You ah, there you go. literally Watch murdered this. that lemon. There's lots of seeds there though, so just be careful. Wow. That's very good. Right, so very good. impressed. Yeah. Well right. done. So there you have it. We've got half a cup of lemon juice. We're going to bring this milk up to the boil. And you know that all the bubbles will form on the side and the milk will actually start to really rise. Good, and uh, you're going to have to give this a little bit of a twirl because you don't want the milk to get burned. Okay. To right. coagulate. No, no, no. To get scalded. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So. When it coagulates, I'm going to tell you then, right? right. So we've got the flame going on high. Uh, you're not going to leave this. Uh, there's two things that's going to happen. If it doesn't get burnt at the bottom, it's going to rise, it's going to fall over. And then of course, you're going to, they're going to know that your milk is boiled over. But it'll be all over the stove. It will be all over the stove. It will be burnt black and give your husband quite a bit of um, cleaning up to do. Who's your husband? <laughs> All right, so we've got the milk on the boil. And as you can see, I've got a heavy base pan and I've got a very deep, deep pan that I've got the milk boiling in. In fact, I'm just using my pressure cooker. This is a wonderful addition 
to any kitchen because you can boil pulses, uh, beans, dal in uh, eight to ten minutes. Can you believe that? So wow. it's, um, uh, <laughs> it's most economical to have a pressure cooker. Okay. And uh, as we discussed uh, in some other program, it's not the one that just shoots up to the ceiling. It's got all of the safety devices oh, as well. Cool. Right. So I'm giving this a little bit of a twirl. It's come up very nicely. Um, and we're now going to add in, yes, the fresh cream. Okay, can I do that, boss? Yes, you may. Okay. Do you need a spoon or something? Or yes, and I'm going to give you one. Okay, thank you. Right, so you're just going to pour that quite unceremoniously in there. Oh, Splash it. Yeah, I think lower the jug. Into the pot? Yes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now wow. The that How's that? That is spoon. brilliant. Should I put the entire thing in? You can. Alright. That is stunning. So how much of paneer does this make? It will make, um, well if you think about how much of uh, the liquids you're putting in there, it's like 3 litres. Mm -hmm. So you're going to probably make... Um, 3 litres of paneer. <laughs> well actually less than that. <laughs> it probably is going to be about 1 kilo. Oh, okay. All right. right. And then, can I drop in the yogurt or do you want to play at doing that as well? I'm not playing, I'm cooking. There you go. That's it. Drop in the yogurt. <laughs> Give it a bit of a stir. Yep, there you go. And All mixing I am now going Watch to the seeds. put in the lemon juice. I'm just doing this so that I don't get the seeds in there. Mm. How's yeah. that working out? Okay, it's got a, got a much, very much of a, a, a lemony smell yes. to it now. Yeah. Okay, so there's your paneer. You don't have to be stirring this, you could just let it be. And uh, of course if your milk is nicely um, boiled, then it is going to separate and you're going to see all of the curd come up. Alright, so while that is happening, I just want to give you another little bit of um, tip. a tip. Mm -hmm. And that is, I save all of these old ice cream containers. Oh, to put the food in. What food? The leftover food. <laughs> no, mm. I use the Tupperware for that. But um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pierce the bottoms of these so that when we drain out the paneer, uh, we're going to be able to shape it into this beautiful rectangular shape as well. So that when we're cutting it into blocks, we're going to get lovely little squares. Okay, so, so, so hang on, we're going to make holes in it, and, and, and what's going to come out of it? All of the um, the liquid that we don't want. How many? Ah, uh, just about six. Well One, done. Like that. But yes, just mind your fingers, stuff. One, two, yeah. three. Just want to, um, I'm sure I've seen you use a, a cloth before. I do use a cloth, but after it's drained and we want it to sit, we're going to put it in here. So any liquid is going to drain out those little holes that you very expertly made at the end. And that one is going to have some um, water into it, put into it, and we're going to, yes. Immerse it. We're going to, um, yes, press it down with the liquid from the top. As you can wow. see, our paneer has come up. It's boiled absolutely beautifully. Wow. Mm -hmm. We've given I it a little tilt so that it doesn't catch on the knee. giving away lots of secrets here, eh? because it's like, I've never seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. so there you go. I'm gonna just switch that off. And when this settles, you're going to see that all of the curd is going to separate from the whey. <laughs> no. really. Okay, so as you can see, it has come up to the boil, uh, it started to coagulate. We're going to leave this to cool ever so slightly. And in the meanwhile, I have prepared the colander. I've just taken any ordinary colander. I've taken any cloth, and usually, uh, traditionally, a muslin cloth is used. But try getting muslin from every, any store. It's just like ever so difficult to get. So you can use just any piece of net or you could use a lovely piece of cotton or a dishcloth and you will line your colander with it. And when that cools a little bit, 
You will see that it starts to separate. You can use your husband's uh, cotton shirt. Yes, you have quite a beautiful yeah. linen shirt. <laughs> Not my shirt. Oh? Yeah. Someone yeah. else's, I mean, one of their husbands. Oh, so. I'm saying yeah. you as husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I just thought you no. wanted to use your blue beautiful shirt. I don't All want right. to take my shirt off on TV. All right, okay, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> So um, when this cools a little, we're going to throw it into the colander. We're going to then pick it up and rinse it under the tap. Okay. First it will drain out absolutely beautifully. And then, put it into and then my... we're going to put it into the beautiful little container that yes. Kubeshin has made. I made holes in it. And as you can see, hey, your name is not on the back. No, only a mom writes a name at the bottoms of the ice cream containers when she <laughs> sends food to my us. Mom. Yes. My mom. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I remember that. Why? When she's bringing food for you. In the ice cream container <laughs> with a name written underneath. Yes. All mom. right. Mum. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're almost ready here. Yes. Okay. So. Starting to separate. Yes. Um, how's the paneer uh, cooling off there? Paneer has cooled down beautifully. So now we're going to show them how to separate yes. it and... So no, no, it no. not separate, it does its business on its own. Mm -hmm. So do you understand what the science of this is? Is that um, you have added um, the lemon, which has soured the milk, the cream, and of course the yogurt as well with all of the bacteria, has soured the milk. And um, uh, a little tip is that whenever you find that you've got some sour milk, mm -hmm. that is the milk is soured, then don't throw it away. Actually, you just keep it because all of that culture will make an absolutely beautiful cottage cheese. So I just like uh, every time the milk has gone um, off, I don't add it into your cornflakes oh. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I just keep it aside for the for paneer. For the paneer. Okay. Before we learned how to make paneer, I would just slip it. And you put it into my cereal. Yeah, I thought it's right. So yeah. now we've got the prepared. Um, the cloth. The cloth in the colander. And your mother's containers, ice cream containers. Yes, but we're going to do this in the sink. Oh. Okay, so just go okay. ahead. Okay. Is it too hot? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alright, just let it sit in there. It will drain out very slowly. I don't want to lose any of this. So, I just so I'm put just going to scrape this up. What I'm going to just leave okay. it. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Just let all of that fall out. Thank you. You're welcome. Give this a little shake up. Okay. And as you can see, we've got all of the liquid draining underneath, and we've got all of the beautiful cottage cheese forming on the top. I'm going to leave that in here, and it will drain out very slowly. When it does, I'm going to pick up this cloth like this. You see this? And do you see what we have there? Yes. Like a bag of gold. Okay. All of the paneer. And do you see the clear liquid that's draining out from underneath? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Do you like it? Okay. So, while that is happening, I'm going to turn on the tap. And we're going to rinse this out with some cold water as well. Well, to further cool it? To further cool it. Okay. There you go. And then well, we just let it drain. Can you do that as well? Or you can squeeze it. You can squeeze it, but it's too hot to squeeze. Okay. Hence, if you're rinsing it out with cold water, it will drain. And, and we have literally a bag of paneer here. But do you see that it's not very practical if we let it um, shape in this in this shape mm -hmm. and therefore if we place it in these containers here which you're going to see me do very soon uh, we will use the same cloth we'll put this cheese into this container and then we'll fill this container with water why to press on that cheese to weigh it down oh, okay. so if you don't want to put water in here you could like fill this container with beans or whatever, or whatever just some weight. and then to get some weight in here okay. put the cottage cheese in there and press it down so that we have a block of cheese by tomorrow morning. So you don't want to put too much weight in it, so you can't sit in there, it might just damage it. 
I As a joke. would <laughs> like to reserve my comment. Okay, very right. good. And of course, when all of that um, shaping and pressing is done, we are left with these little blocks of beautiful well, well, actually not cheese. These well, of course, it was all a one little we block, and, we cut it and then we cut them into beautiful little cubes. And put it in the fridge. And put it in the fridge, and there we have it, the most delicious paneer. You want to taste it? Um, well, let's see. Why not? Okay. With a fork, okay? All right, you don't need a fork. Okay. Look how cheesy and creamy. Mm. You mm -hmm. asked me if I want to taste oh, it. I beg your pardon. I'll give you a little pinch. What can you say about that? Your fingers had the chili taste. <laughs> no, it has got a lot of cheesiness to it. So, this is tasteless. It is bland actually. Yeah. It's actually very bland and very tasteless, but it has beautiful texture. Mm. That's why people like paneer. And the uh, only way in which you could flavor this is to spice it up. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so now we're going to do a very quick and easy five minute um, makani. <laughs> so I'm going to get a squiz of olive oil in here. Alright. Alright. I'm going to put some butter in here. Wow, that's your favorite, isn't it? Yes, yes. nice squares of that. I'm going to put about two tablespoons, well, two teaspoons of chopped onions. And I'm going to give this a okay, quite a lovely uh, little mix. Sauteing quite briskly. Okay. All right. Do you want me to do that while it's sauteing? Yes. Oh. And while you yeah. they should very aptly um, and ably stirs that up, I am going to be putting in one of these little cultures. Ooh. I'm going to put a star anise. There we go. I'm going to be putting one bay leaf. Uh -huh. I'm going to put one cardamom. You there see that you beautiful, go. beautiful that cardamom, aroma already. Cardamom's got my name on it. Yes, it does. <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah. I have one teaspoon of um, jira seeds. Or cumin. All right, how's that working out? It's going fine. Oh, that smells absolutely beautiful. It does actually. You know, really? you know what this reminds me of? The yes. smell. It reminds me of uh, my granny's house. Oh yeah. All the stuff that she used to cook. I know, and you know, it's uh, so amazing that uh, so often some of our most favorite uh, memories are associated with the smells of food. Like I recall very often walking home from school and you'd pass all of these homes where the dinner was being prepared and there'd be all these delicious um, smells of like mutton curry wafting through the door. That's fine, you can have all the smells wafting through. You were walking from school when other people were cooking dinner. Yes. What were you doing in school so late? No, but at that no, no, time... No, 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 what were you doing in school so late? I was doing a community service, oh, yeah. cleaning up Community and, uh, service, that's what his name. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, there were these beautiful smells of like mutton curry wafting through the doors mm. onto the road. And by the time you got home, uh, you would be nice and hungry. Do you, do you know why? In those mm. days, they didn't have those uh, uh, extractors. They didn't have extractor yeah. fans. So you would be like nice and hungry by the time you got home. <laughs> but, but seriously, the, the thing about my granny is that, is that my grandfather hated fasting. You know, for this whole month. Oh, of yes. course, we stayed away from all meat and whatever. My mum insisted. Yes. No meat. Because it's a lovely for discipline. Yeah, it's good for your body. So here we are, meat. all as little kids running around, and my granny used to come to visit, and in a Tupperware ice cream container. Yes. She used to bring chicken. Oh wow. Fried chicken. Yes. And my mother said no. Was that soya? No, real chicken. Oh wow. And here we are. Um, Salivating. And drooling. <laughs> and, and my mother used to take it and give it to the neighbors. <laughs> but oh, did you mean she didn't relent? No, but oh, she was not fasting. Wow. But so, I used to visit the neighbors there. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, the onions are nicely sauteed. And I'm going to put in a little bit of turmeric. Yes. Right, I'm going to put that on the onions so it doesn't burn in the oil immediately. And I have got here some mixed masala. I'm going to be quite generous with this. You always are generous with chili. Two heaped teaspoons of mixed masala. 
And I am going to put in some of salt. salt. Yes. Right. And You're trying to look for like a, a big name for salt, right? right. Sodium I'm chloride. <laughs> I'm going to put a lovely heap teaspoon of minced garlic. And I have in this bowl the tomato. You're actually making chutney all this time. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, mix it up. Really it's not really oh, not so beautiful. The colors. Mm, so <laughs> stunning. I'm going to pour in the tomato that I've liquidized. Mix that up. I've just added a little water in there. Give that a good mix. I'm mixing, boss. I'm mixing. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely beautiful. You're very good. I know. I'm a good and mixer. And of course, wait, can I just help you? Yes. Um, we're going to be adding to this. The thing that makes this the makani is cream. Is the cream. So I'm going to put about half a cup of cream in there. You're going to get that a mix. Oh, word. Okay. Wow, that looks absolutely Always beautiful. Always learn from you that if you're making some sort of chutney or whatever, you put in a teaspoon of sugar to take away the bitterness right. of the, the tomato. And do you know why I haven't done this now? Mm -hmm. because, because when I liquidized it, mm -hmm. I actually did put in some sugar. Sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. This actually looks like uh, butter chicken gravy. Actually, it is the same thing. Is it? Yes. So can we have some butter chicken? You can. I'm going to put them in right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. Do you have to put them in one? Uh, you, actually, you, you can be really uh, aggressive. It's nicely set. You see that? Wow. So this won't break up in you? No, not at all. You're, of course, you're not going to like mix it up. Oh. <laughs> and we're just layer that in very nicely. I'm going to keep some of this because I really like to a fried with some onion and garlic and green peppers and uh, very dry and it's the most delicious delicious addition to some garlic bread okay so so this will now absorb all the flavor from it the will milk. and you've turned it so beautifully that it's looking absolutely stunning so, so does this also soften the the paneer? paneer you don't want it to be too soft and to crumble so there we go all right, then I'm going to just turn that off. I'm going to put the lid on it, and you will see that the. Um, wow. That's a beautiful taste. Mm. That's delicious. Yes. Well done. Yes. Thank you.